Welcome to Simplified Engineering. This is video lecture number 6. The topic is control volume and control surface. Consider an air compressor. An air compressor is an open system. And why it is an open system? From the surroundings there may be energy interaction and mass interaction with the system. Means air compressor is our system and it will be a device it will it is a device which compresses the air from low pressure to high pressure which means that to compress air air has to enter into the system so mass is coming in similar way after compressing it will be going out so mass is going out of the system and the air compressor is a rotary device it is uh, run by a motor so the motor will supply the mechanical work so that means work is coming into the system let us see so in motor the work is coming in work into the system and the low pressure air is coming that is mass into the system after compressing the mass high pressure air is leaving that is mass out of the system during its working the air compressor ga may get heated so the air compressor surface will be at a higher temperature and surroundings will be at low temperature if there is a temperature difference there may be heat flow that is energy out of the system from higher temperature to lower temperature there will be heat out of the system so air compressor is an open system because there is mass interaction bet between system and surroundings and energy interaction also so for analyzing an open system we will be using the concept of control volume we will be considering a fixed volume of the system so we will be drawing a dotted line around the system this is called control volume the dotted volume inside that dotted part is called control volume and the dotted line is called control surface don't get confused with an open system and a control volume both are same why because the concept of control volume will come only if there is mass interaction between system and surroundings means mass flow in system means if there is mass interaction it is an open system because in an open system only there is mass interaction between system and surroundings so this is the concept of control volume and control surface it is just a method of denoting a fixed volume of the system why because it is very useful for analyzing the system and deriving equations for that system most of the engineering applications are open system like engine compressor turbines pump etc so for analyzing those kind of systems we will be using the concept of control volume uh, the both energy and mass go crosses the control surface for understanding easily i will be explaining this concept with a simple example means and uh, consider an open system and the surrounding F in an open system there will be mass interaction and energy interaction between the system and surroundings so we will be denoting a fixed volume of the system with a dotted line that is the control surface and the volume inside the control surface that is control volume i hope you understand the concept of control surface and control volume it is nothing but an open system for an open system only the control volume concept will come okay this is the end of le this lecture in our next lecture we will be covering thermodynamic properties we will be covering different types of thermodynamic thermodynamic properties in detail with examples you can subscribe for latest videos and we will be updating with regularly with our videos thank you for watching